Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is that time of month for Red Dead Online. So we're gonna take a look at the monthly long events for Red Dead Online. And uh, automatically you can see legendary bounties that are gonna be the focus. The bounty hunter is the focus this month. So let's just not waste any time. Let's just get into it. It'll also include any of the festive Christmas stuff that they have going for this month. So let's just jump into it. So bounty hunter bonuses plus holiday cheer coming to Red Dead Online. Triple rewards on bounties and a merry call to arms plus the festive community outfit and more uh, so let's kind of skip some of this you know word salad here we don't even care about too much uh, but both legendary and infamous bounties are paying out three times money XP and gold that is a really good payout really good way to rank up uh, legendary bounties you could do them between 12 to 30 minutes to get the biggest payout 30 minutes is the biggest payout and then infamous bounties uh, you go ahead and just do them about 12 minutes so you'd be good on that and so but yeah, three different. If you do any three different legendary bounties during the week in December, you'll receive a red colorway of the full oil hat. Uh, and then new players, you can begin your uh, career. Go ahead and go get the sheriff's license. Uh, well, go ahead and get the bounty from the sheriff's license over in Rhodes. And then the intrepid bounty hunters, you can claim 10 gold bars off the prestigious bounty hunter roll. So that's actually a really good discount on that if you haven't got that by now. Um, you probably have to be pretty new to the game if you haven't got that by now. Or if you haven't got the bounty roll at all, you need to get up to get the prestigious bounty hunter. So, and you can see this awesome graphic they forgot to even upload. It's not a broken graphic because if so, you see it at the top left up here but no they just like you know what hell with it we're not even gonna put a graphic because the triple xp is a separate png image so they, they didn't even put nothing on here they're like you know what yeah let's do this weird moon or mountain shit whatever it is that we don't care we don't care but anyway three times character and roll xp on player bounties as well so that's really good and then if you get what is it says if you bring in any player bounty dead or alive to get a reward a free treasure map leading to a whole near uh burn town so that's one of the easiest ones to get um you know this shows up a lot anyway but the burn town's an easy one to get the treasure you don't have to search too hard to get it it's a really small area but two times money and xp on the covington emerald blood money opportunity yeah, it's kind of a boring thing at this point. It was very cool when they first came out, but if you're new to the game, why not? It pays it pays so so. It doesn't have a great payout anyway, but um two times money in XP. The XP is probably more of a benefit than the uh, money, but um but yeah, you'll get uh double rewards now through January 2nd on that. Um but yeah, that's there you go. And they probably should have led with this graphic cuz Lisa's least it's more Christmassy. There's another graphic they have on here too. Uh, I know it's Bounty Hunter, but you know, we should have led with this somehow. I mean, you can still be a bounty hunter and be dressed like that. But anyway, holiday cheer in Red Dead Online. When still arrives Red Dead Online, a warming holiday cheer is also expected. Um, St. Denise will be adorned with Christmas decorations and lights. It's going to be just that one small little block of a street. It still looks cool. Still looks cool. And I think there's like candy canes and stuff on the middle of the park on the fencing and stuff there. That was new from the very first year they did it. Um, but maybe they'll do more. I don't know, but they're not saying they're doing more. But um, that's where you need to look for the decorations. And then this is car uh, carolers, too. I was never able to find any of them last year. Um, some people said they heard them and stuff doing it, but it was really faint. So maybe it'll be better this year where you can hear them. Also, you'll have Christmas trees in your moonshine shack and at your camp if you have a camp. Uh, well, you do have a camp, but I meant if you have a moonshine shack, you'll see a Christmas tree downstairs. Um, but then also they're going to bring back the variant of the Krampus shotgun. I think this is the third, uh, third or fourth year. I think I don't know if they did it the first year or not. I don't think so. I think it was this will be the third year in a row. Uh, there will be no rank lock on it, but you'll get it between December 13th and January 2nd. And then Mary Call to Arms, three times money and XP on this. Now let's look real quick. So it's just three times money and XP, it's not gold. Gold is the benefit of doing these, um, but I know people wanna do them. Now it looks like it's just gonna be the same ones. Uh, Mary Call to Arms, um, they're gonna be decorated with gingerbread candy canes and other ornaments. It'll be the same decorations we've had for the past couple years. Uh, last year release got new uh, locations, so we should get those locations again because it talks about the Christmas train uh, and that was not in the year before that. It was only in last year. So, um, you know, it'll have pack of wolves and different things like that. So it is at least a little bit interesting. So you couldn't got burned out on too much last year. I mean, you might have been, but at least it's not um, the same stuff like the very first year. So it's different maps. Um, but yeah, it's just only three times money in XP, so it's not a big thing to go do. Um, I mean, the money will be pretty decent. 
um, but the gold is usually a better payout to do these. But either way, you have fun, enjoy Christmas and Red Dead Online. Most people come back to this just because they haven't been playing it recently anyway and they come back for christmas so you know what hey have fun go in here and do it the new maps were actually good uh hang dog ranch uh if you look out in the middle of the field you'll see flying ring deer i can't remember which rank uh not rank but wave it is if you guys remember let me know down in the comments i think it was like uh wave seven or eight but anyway let's move on uh and then this graphic uh this graphic that you use i think for the first year but see the lights there that's about the much as the christmas lights you see here in the background that'll be in san Denis in that middle street uh, but seasonal gift items as holiday as a holiday gift, all players who log in Red Dead Online between December 13th and 26th will receive the winter variant of the Evans Repeater. It is a very cool um, variant. You have to go to the gunsmith to go get it to claim it when it comes out. Uh, but I don't think a lot of people use the Evans Repeater, mainly, mainly for PvP. I don't think a lot of people use it anymore. But if you're just running around the game, um, you know, just uh, shooting animals and stuff like that, you probably do. But either way, you probably use it just for Christmas just because it looks cool. Uh, but then log in anytime this month to receive a reward off a free offhand holster. Naturalists who sell a sample to Harriet anytime before January 2nd will also receive a pair of green Salter shoes. Uh, so it looks like it's all in that and then let's go. This is a thing you can do for some login stuff December 6th to 12th login and receive a reward for a free coat uh, 13th to the 19th login and receive a reward for 2000 bounty hunter roll XP and December 20th to 26th login and receive a reward for a free ability card and three gold bars that's pretty decent complete a moonshiner uh, moonshiner cell to receive a red version of the Levitt coat jacket Reach wave seven and any Mary call to arms this week to receive a green version of the Morales vest. December 27th to January 2nd, log in and receive a reward for a free emote. Visit Gus to receive an offer off 50% of select weapons. Complete a roll challenge to receive a bonus of RDO $100. Feature series for this month, uh, 29th to December 5th, Hardcore Elimination. December 6th to the 12th, Gun Rush Teams. That's pretty cool, actually. Gun Rush has always been fun, but it's going to be hardcore. Uh, and that means you know, no tonics, uh, maybe quarter of your health, I think it is, and no ability cards. December 13th to the 19th, Bestest Series 1. So we won't have any of the feature series until uh, the 13th when, when the snow and stuff comes out, too, as well. December 20th through January 2nd, Festa Series 2. We don't know what they are, but it's going to be the recycled ones they have from the past few years because they're not talking about adding anything new. Um, this is actually a nice Christmas. This is the other one I thought they should have let off the newswire. It just looks it looks better, but it's a community holiday outfit. Uh, it's a little bit it funny. There's no coat at all. I mean, it does at least look Christmassy a little bit, but there's no coat. But the stuff you'll get will be the gray shot pants for Mel, prairie skirt female, snowball hat, Color, uh, collar over shirt male and uh, the shirt waist for female, crutch fill suspenders and a neckerchief. If you go into the catalog, you'll see them real easy because it'll say sell and it'll have zero on it if you can't find it. But just look in those categories for the clothing and you'll see it. Going down to the discounts, 10 gold bars off the prestige bounty hunter. Some of this we already talked about, but we'll go over real quick. All novice and promising established bounty hunter roll items are 50% off. 50% off all the rifles. Make sure to get the Carcano. Honestly, just get all of them. It's not that expensive and uh, why not? But yeah, make sure you get a Carcano if you're high enough rank. 50% off the Breton horses, which is the bounty hunter horse. 40% off the Arabian horses. That includes include the ones that have gold bars on them. 50% off the bounty wagon. That's good. That's a good discount on that. 50% trinkets from Gus, 50% off shirts, 50% off gloves, 50% off corsets, 50% off dresses, 50% off hats. And that is it for our uh, festive Christmas uh, month in Red Dead Online. A lot of just all recycled stuff. There's nothing gonna be new. If you just started this year, you'll enjoy it. Look at that image, it looks so great. Uh, but you'll enjoy it because uh, you haven't done it before. Uh, even if you only played last year, you'll probably still enjoy it. Or if you just haven't played the game much at all, you'll enjoy it for maybe a couple days at least to meet up with your friends and hang out for Christmas stuff. But yeah, it's kind of a big uh, L, you know, here. Uh, it, it, I mean, at least could have gave us at least one new call to arms. Maybe they will, but they're definitely not saying it. And then when they added new stuff like that last time, uh, for Halloween, they definitely did say they added it and then they added it uh, and said they added it for last year for Christmas. So that's what we guys got. Uh, what we got, guys, we didn't expect anything anyway, but it would have been nice to get something we didn't expect. But we're kind of used to that Red Dead Alliance. So anyway, guys, just wanted to drop this out there here for you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is what we got. So 
if this video helped you out in any shape or form i hope it did maybe maybe <laughs> if it did go ahead and drop a like on the video i appreciate it if you are new to the channel consider hitting those sub button and bell notification i always like keep you guys updated with what's going on red down the line when there is actually something worth talking about i uh, don't try to spam you with videos but I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, good rest of your week. If I don't see you, I hope you have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. But as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.